Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nation of Nobbin. We're back here again at the Pumpkin Mansion. Because if you didn't see last episode, I have declared war on Wadzi. This man thinks pumpkins are lesser than melons. And he plants 200 every episode in his hardcore series. So here I am going to make such a massive pumpkin farm. That it is going is, is gonna to destroy his melon farm. I will, once this building is complete, I will plant 500 pumpkins each episode. But it's still got a lot of work to do. As you can see, I've done some work. This section right here is new. And this section down there, and the stuff back there. This section, actually, the top section, I, I completed. Then I realized I needed to take a thumbnail for the last episode, which I really like. So I had to kind of crop it out like that. But yeah, I really like this. I'm, I think these are like giant logs from a huge tree or something. I tried making them thicker, but it didn't really look good. So I think this works. Over here, I've built a massive archway, and I've capped this off. Now, capping this off does limit the room up there. But now all of this space up here is available for more pumpkin farms, which I think is cool. And I, I did fill it in. I filled in the roof and the walls because I couldn't, If it looked very, very weird without the walls. I was having plans of putting in a floor right here. But yeah, the roof, the walls definitely, definitely tied all together and the roof. I used a circle generator and got a perfect circle, which I think looks beautiful. I did carpet the top of the roof so no mobs will spawn. But we might come back here later in the episode to work on it a little bit more. But last Saturday, when I was recording the last episode, I had to take a break and do something incredible. Because I had to do it. In a, I wanted to finish it in a single session. And that is the last layer of the bedrock. So I hope you enjoy. Ten hours 
35 minutes and 5 seconds. Holy cow. That was just... Oh my gosh. Oh. That was a whole Saturday. Just... <laughs> I didn't even use all the TNT. I still have like tons of TNT. The bottleneck was the trap doors and levers. I just didn't bring enough. So I had to pause, go grab more. But yeah. Whew. Let's. Oh, this is risky. Okay, let me grab my under chest. Let's just. I can lose that. I can't lose the beacons. I can. I can. Oh. Lytra. Always check the Lytra. F4. Oh, it's cold. It's dark. It's lonely. Oh, it's scary. Oh, it gives me just chills flying over this thing. So, I gotta fix that. I am going to grab some tinted glass and go all over this just tinted glass. I think that's gonna look sick. Oh my god. Golly gosh goodness, I can't get over the fact of how cool this looks. Holy cow. I added deep slate down here. You can kind of see it. I don't know. I might remove it because I really like just seeing the bedrock. Maybe put something darker down there. But the floor is all done. And on the next thing we probably should do is figure out the water elevators. Because there's going to be water elevators. And this floor will be the storage room. We can have chests along that wall, chests over here, and then tons of chests right here. And then this will be like where the water elevator are. No, nope, not that one. But I gotta figure out where to place them. And I'm thinking I might just use the world, the chunk borders to figure out, figure out that placement. And for this water elevator, I'm actually going to use scaffolding because this one's going to be temporary until I get the final block pallet laid out. But I have this auto clicker here. Oh my. Oh my, this is going to take forever. Okay, let's go to the top and see. Oh, it went way too high. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to have to like place some blocks up here. So this should be the pattern of the water elevator that's already downstairs. Can I? This is a bad idea. Oh, yes. Yes, oh, I am my master. But let's, let's just, whew, that's a lot of scaffolding. But there we go. I've got easy way up. And the easy way to get down. The later revisions, I'll add a middle column that just has water at the bottom. So I can just go and get down to the storage room super easily. For the storage system on the last level, this is what I'm kind of thinking. Now the item sorter will definitely be much higher up. And there's going to be light indicators on the front to show how much of each we have. I might, I don't know, I might take out these blocks. But yeah, this is what I'm thinking. I want to keep everything within the four chunks because I think that would be cool. Except for the exterior building that will be up there. Any farm related items will be within the four chunks. So yeah. And there's probably going to be chests on that side, chests on that side, and then bone meal storage on this side. I'm thinking that this side will be non bone meal stuff like... Stuff that you can't bone meal, like gunpowder, bones, all that. And then this side will be stuff you can bone meal, like pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, all of that stuff. And I can switch it so all of this, instead of going to the sorting system, is just automatically bone mealed. So I can get tons of bone blocks to play with and try and use that. But let's let me let me see how much can I fit here. I probably won't have one on the edge right here. I'll probably put it, if that's there, I'll probably put it here. Like this. And I guess I could go, like, just stacking it as 
tight as I could, but I wanna I wanna kinda keep this. So it's one, two, fourteen chests. So that means twenty-eight chests in total. Let me think how many items I'm gonna be producing here. It should be enough excluding all the wool. I think I might store that somewhere else. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna have a massive wool farm and I'm gonna have all 16 colors in their own separate chests so I won't have to fish. 28, I'm actually gonna reduce it down to 26. We should still have enough, but just so I can have the room, let's go one, two, three. The room for the one, two, three, for the bone meal. But now I gotta figure out how tall to make these silos. There we go, we've got all the storage silos done. I ended up putting 20 chests in each aisle, and I put two more on the end for bone meal, because my original plan was gonna have bone meal right here. But I need to come out seven blocks, which would limit storage here. So I just put two extra silos, probably those two probably will be bone meal. That's how I'll put it, but I'm really liking this now is the scary part because I have to change my item elevator or my water elevator and I'm thinking I was originally planning to use uh, oak wood but I'm like I, I didn't like how it went with the tinted glass it looked too bright so I used dark oak wood instead so I'm gonna do that
I'm actually going to change my plan for bone meal storage. I'm going to go back to this wall. Instead of having storage silos, I'll just have a chest wall. So I can break them all really easily and just get all the bone meal. But I don't know how much bone meal this is going to produce. So I'm thinking I might go big. Like really big. I'm going to take out these two blocks though. Like... Yes, that big. And then I'm going to put that there. Pop you there. Boom. Bop. Boop. That right there is 40 double chests. So I might. Let's, let's do a little testing. Okay, I can't reach that very top one. So I might just go that high. And with that, this whole wall is complete. I decided to put some cobbled deep slate behind the hoppers and some dark oak wood behind the chest just to fill in the cracks. But now for the ceiling of this storage room, I'm thinking I put some dark oak leaves. Because, you know, we got the dark oak wood. We got, the, we got the, some more dark oak wood and, and some more dark oak. We got a lot of dark oak wood. So I'm going to do dark oak leaves in kind of this canopy style, like, and I'm actually, oh, and this right here, this top beam does prevent me from opening the top chests, but I can't reach the top chest if I don't jump. So just like, and if I want the stuff out of there, I'll probably just break it. But yeah, that's, that's why that's there. I tried to use other stuff, but it didn't really look too good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this with the dark oak leaves. Dang it, I'm out of leaves. I think I'm gonna put black concrete on the top or black wool so I don't get the so I don't see through the leaves as much. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try that. All right, so to conserve wool on the edges, I'm gonna put like actual wool blocks. But then whenever it's like flat, I'm gonna put carpets because I don't have a lot of black dye and I'm poor. So I'm gonna do that. Hmm. There's still some light right there, and I have no idea where it's coming from. Where the heck is... Where the heck is that light coming from? Okay, let's see. I don't... I don't see any leaves. On this side, so I have no idea where the light is coming from. Yeah, there's totally light right there. Let me let me relog. Yeah, there's still light. What the heck? Maybe I should adventure into the leaves. It's like right here. Will this show it? Okay, wait. Oh, no, I won't show it. Where the heck is that coming from? I guess it won't really matter once I get the... Do carpets not block light? Oh my gosh, carpets don't definitely don't block light. I am a fool and an idiot. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to replace all of that with black concrete. Yeah, carpets don't block light. <sighs> yeah, there's way more, there's way less carpets on this side than this side. Cause they just, okay, yeah, yeah. 
Oh man, I just died. I can't find most of my stuff. Really, the sword I can't find, which is really sad. My protection four sword. <sighs> sad. I don't know why. I just can't find it. I even went into the replay mod and took a replay of this place, and I looked for like 10 minutes. Couldn't find it. And there we go. I, I picked up another sword. I couldn't find mine, but I edited this part to make sure the light wouldn't like seep through. And I fixed that part over there. So I think this project, well, this project right here is mostly done. There's still a lot of work to do on the mega chunk, but the storage system is done. And that is a massive, 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 like, massive project done. So I'm really happy about that. But now I think we're going to end off the episode with just a little bit of time lapse of building the pumpkin mansion even further. Tasty. But <clears throat> there we go. We've got this side even higher than the front. And I, oh man, I really dislike this part right here. I could. You know, let me go grab some fences. There we go. That looks a little better. I might tweak it a little bit. Maybe do fence gates. But other than that, this side is now taller than the front. Which is really exciting. See, and the design I have here, I actually yoinked it from a build in my creative test world. And then copied it over. Because you saw in the time lapse, I built it one where it was like only like that. And then I didn't like it. So I just copied it over to the other side. And it looks good. And that's where I think I'm going to end it off for today. So if you like the video, watch another, and I'll see you in the next one.